Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. All right, I'm excited to be here today, everyone. It's my first uh, recode session of the year, taking people through. And boy, does this year feel good! It just feels so good for no reason. Uh, it just, it just feels good. I hope that this is the final read through of the much anticipated uh, manuscript of my book. Uh, got it back today, so uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful creation. I took out ten thousand words in the last week and said, you know what, I'm going to keep it as concise as possible. So it's coming, it's coming. We're going all in with it. Uh, we just got on board one of the best uh, the best teams in the whole of the United States to promote and publish books, yes. which is going to be so great. So. Uh, awesome to be staying in the end result of of that and 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 this is this is key so let's make this year the year of the end result hey so you can always be putting your energy into something where your energy should be is in the end result how do you know where your energy is it's where you're focused you know it's where we're focused where we're focused where we stay focused our focus is the most important thing. We must stay in the focus and energy of the end result. And, and you'll know whenever you're outside of that focus because you, you're simply focused in other places. You're not focused on the end result. So you must you must stay there. So let's let's make this year be the year of the end result. This year is a is a pentagon. Is a, what is that shape? It's got a five, so it's like a, it's pointed. Uh, so it's just stay in the the end result. Each session we do is about working on a choice that you have. Working on a choice that you have. And a choice is something that you're going to choose to create. You're choosing to bring it into reality. Does that mean it's a choice? And, and you're going to have lots of choices and they're going to turn into reality and you're going to get more. However, there's going to be some that are stuck. And that's what these sessions are for is for you to go, I'm going to work on this choice today. And we're going to help you get rid of any resistance so that you can create it. If you don't have choices, when you turn up to these sessions, you're going to have to just work on the core four choices. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. The core four, the orientating choices, the basis, the foundational stuff we can always work on. So really quickly, who uh, knows the core four for extra bonus points? Uh, here they are. Number one is I choose health and vitality. This choice is about choosing to own your own health and vitality, choosing to, to, to say, I'm choosing that. Uh, it's it's kind of needed in order to make the other choices. Uh, the next one and is that I choose to love my life. I choose that. Whatever it is, I choose to love the journey. I choose a life I love. I choose to love my life. That's number two. Number three is I choose to live my true nature and purpose, my truest nature, my truest, I choose to be that above all else. And, uh, and the last one is I choose to be the predominant creative force in my life, which means you're not the only creative force in your life. You'll have children and friends and, and friend enemies, and you'll have uh, spouses and you'll have all, also, they'll also be creative forces in your life, but you're going to be the predominant one. Uh, does that make sense? You're going to be the predominant one, meaning you're going to be the main one. Anyway, so so you look, if you're brand new, you, you know, you're not going to say, oh, crap, Chris, I'm brand new. I haven't done that. I haven't got choices. No worries. You can use those ones. And thank you for all of the beautiful uh, certified coaches and, and others that have been uh, been typing in and helping us with that. So before we get started, do you know we have our next Magnetic Mind event coming up? We have a Magnetic Mind event coming up. It's just for you guys, and we're going to do it a little bit different. Previously, we've done the Magnetic Mind event, and it's been um, the recorded version of me doing it live. Well, this time, just like I did the one for uh, the certification uh, and the transformation group last month, we're going to do the whole thing virtual and live. I've got this brand new studio set up. I'm all good to go. 
Uh, so we're going to be doing it. And all of you are invited. It's included in your program. All of you are invited. And so who knows the dates for that? Who's got the dates? Who's already coming? Who knows the dates and is, is already there? What are the dates in Australia? And what are the dates in the US? Who's got these? I think that uh, that everyone should know the dates. I'm not going to try to remember the dates. How's that, Tusi? Awesome. So I hope you got the dates. Uh, actually, maybe I'll just quickly ask uh, Roche to make sure I have the save the date thing. <laughs> Someone says, I have no idea, but I'm going to be there. Actually, Tus, I know Tusi's on. Could you grab me the dates for uh, for Australia? I believe in Australia, it starts on the 30th. And uh, I believe it's on the 29th to 31. There we go. 29th to 31 if you're in the USA and 30th uh, to 1st if you're uh, down under. Down under. Anyway, um, thanks. Thanks, guys. So th those are the dates. Now, that's going to be an amazing event. You do need to register. Okay. So so, so obviously, you're, um, you, you've got a space. You've got a seat. That, that's all sorted. Uh, but we, we're not, not everyone's going to be there. Okay. We, we don't want to flood the everyone who can't be there with emails and messages and about the events. Uh, it, it's going to be about four hours a day. And, uh, and then there's going to be uh, work to do and other things on top of that. So it's, it's going to be really exciting. Uh, and it's recorded. So you can go through it at, at your own pace as well. But I think you're going to really, uh, really love it. You, uh, th there's the there's the event link actually. So yeah, let's do this. So there's the event link that Tusi's just uh, posted in. So if you'd like to register, oops, if you'd like to register, just take a moment. Thanks, Tus, and uh, and you can register. The reason why we ask you to register is, is just so that we know who we're talking to about the event. We, we'll you know call you and make sure you got your details because a bunch of people can't make it right, and and so. That's fine. <laughs> they don't need an email about the event and the start dates and what we, you know, what you know what I'm saying. So we, we just want to have it in a in a container. So uh, I'll give you a quick second just to register. Yeah, no, it's included in your program. Someone just asks, is it? No, no, it's included. It's it's part of it. We do it four times a year. By the way, we do it four times a year. So if you can't make this one, there's more coming, and they're they're recorded. So you know, don't worry. But I will be doing this one. Um, I'll be doing this one with you, just because it's more fun for me. <laughs> just because it's more fun. All right, cool. People say just registered. Thank you. Jojo says done. Cool. Uh, awesome. So that, that's going to be great. So let's get into uh, get into today and uh, into today's session uh, and into your end results. It's a very powerful time of year. Uh, very powerful time of year for creators and magicians. Uh, people turning their their thoughts into things, and, and the reason why it's so powerful at this time of year is there's there's a really big field of newness uh, from winter solstice to the New Year celebrations to to the Christmas story. There's just a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, archaeological energy that we could dig up and find, you know, in in ancient times in our DNA that says now is the time for newness and. Uh, being in the field of humanity, you can't avoid this this feeling. So, um, you know, you know, know that that it is it is true, it is true that now is a really good time just to just to have a you know a blank piece of paper and say what do I what do I really love to create, you know, what would I really love uh, to create, and that that's a very 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 great question. Now you might write the same things you already had written down, hey. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. You go, oh, well, you know, I got the exact same things I already had, Chris. It was a waste of time. No, it wasn't. Uh, you got to tune back in, connect with it, get back into the uh, the emotion of what it is that you're creating because uh, that's the guiding force in your life. The guiding force in your life is to say, you know, the end result, what I'm creating. So so a thing that I, that I say a lot is you must be it uh, to see it. Yeah. You must be it to see it. I'm sure many of you have heard this. You must be it. So what is the it? What is the it? What is that? It's such an interesting question, isn't it? What do you mean be it, Chris? Do you mean be the thing that I want to create? Because I'm not money. I can't be it. But what is the it? 
Well, you know, it's easy to describe what it isn't. What it isn't is it's not limited. Okay, the it being it, when you when you get back to what you truly are, your creative source, your creative essence, you are the universe witnessing itself. And you are a creative energy. And you've simply created a limited perspective. And this limited perspective, okay, a limited viewpoint, a limited perspective, this limited perspective, we gave a name and it's enjoying having an experience of itself. And as it's having an experience of itself inside what, uh, inside this, this universe, the, the one song universe, the one song inside of that, there's others also having their same limited viewpoint or perspective. And we get, you know, all sorts of consciousnesses being able to go, but that, that's, what, that's what we've got to understand. We are at all, and we have collapsed ourselves down into one perspective, to have a journey, to have fun. And there's nothing wrong with any creation. From the super conscious perspective, which is an aspect of the whole perspective, from this whole perspective, there's, no, there's never anything wrong. There's no shoulds. There's no I should be or I should have, or, or this is the this is good. This is this, there's none of that. Because everything's just going through a process of experience. And this experience is just an experience. And that's what's so fun to acknowledge. So a diagram that many of you have seen lot, lots of times is this one. We have a current reality and a desired reality. Now, the key is when you be it, you're both of them. When your ID, your identity realizes that it's both of that, your identity can be this reality, it can be this reality, you see? There's nothing wrong. So the current reality here might be, you know, not enough. And this might be enough. Your humanness says that this is better than this. Your identity doesn't know better. It just knows it's different, you see? There'll be another random reality over here, another random reality over here, and you can be in any of these, any of them. But most of us, we have a setup, right? We say, this is where I am, and I'm going to try to get there. I'm going to try to get there. And what we try to do is we try to stay limited and use the limited perspective and then become a different perspective. And this is the one of the biggest mistruths. We start out here in this current reality, and we have this identity. And we try to move to this desired reality and stay with and, and have a new identity. So let's say this identity is scarce and this identity is abundant. We try to take this one and we try to fix it or transmute or change it into this one. Say it again. We take one identity and we try to change it into another identity. What, who's done this, by the way? I don't have enough money. I'm going to change myself to become something else. I'm, I'm not healthy and I'm going to try to change this and move to this. I'm going to try to move this. I'm going to stay here and try to move it. And okay. all of us, hey? We all got told we got to, you know, we got to try to change ourselves and become something. But here's the problem: when you are you are a limited perspective, and you try to change it, can you see the the density of that? How hard that is. When you when you when you have something and you, you you're wanting to get rid of it, so so let me let's just uh, let's just play a fun game. Let's play a fun game. 
I, I want you just to think of something that you you resist, that you don't want to happen. E everyone can do that. Hey, so here's something that I don't want to happen. I would I would really I would not prefer to be broke. Like I wouldn't prefer that. Like I I I prefer to have money. So can everyone can everyone just think of something? Okay, uh, that they would they would prefer they didn't have. They're like that they would resist. And I know if you've done lots of ego, Chris, well, I'm not going to do it. It's just for an exercise. Okay. It's not, it's not how we would create. Okay. And I just want you to just, can everyone do that? I, I don't think uh, you resist it. You don't want that. You don't want to be that. You don't want to have that. You don't want it. Okay. So just, just, it's just a fun game. This isn't part of creating. It's just going to help you get some awareness. Okay. It's just going to help you get some awareness. You, you're going to get, going to get a lot out of it. Okay. So everyone's got it. Okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and actively resist it. I don't want that. I don't want to have that. I don't want to be that. I don't want it. And then just notice how it is. Notice where you go. Notice what you're going to do when you resist it. Notice what happens to it. I don't want that. I'm not going to be that. I'll never be that. Notice you'll never be that and you create something else. And then as you create something, so you create the complete opposite, but notice how it feels. Okay, open your eyes and come back. Come back. So when you resisted it, what, what happened to it? When you resisted it, what happened to it? Panic, a battle, small, pressured. It got worse, got bigger, it got stronger, it got heavy, it grew. It got bigger, everyone's saying, it grew. It got stronger, it got stronger. Everyone here says it got stronger. Did it go away? If you imagine sol solving it, did it really go away? It didn't, did it? It's, it sat there as a fear you never want to happen. Look at all this, no, 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 no. Please make sure you're typing into me and everyone else so we can see everyone's answers because it's very important. Do you see how it didn't go away, hey? You see how it didn't go away? You see this, you, you, you went for it, but it's still, it's still there as a worry, wasn't it? Now let's do the same, same exercise, but different instructions, different instructions. So this time, close your eyes. Close your eyes. And now accept it as a possibility. Just accept it as a possibility. Accept it as a possibility. Accept it. It's possible. It's possible. Accept it as one of an infinite amount of possibilities. As you accept its possibility, accept every other possibility. Once you accept it as a possibility, accept all the other possibilities as well. Accept it as a possibility and then accept all the other possibilities. Breathe them in. Accept it. Deeply accept it as a possibility. Acknowledge it as a possibility. And then acknowledge all the other possibilities. Now choose the possibility you would prefer. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> it makes me laugh when I do it.
What happened when you accepted it as a possibility? <laughs> what happened? Did it? Did anyone else feel it just come into you, like it lost its power? Hey, did who just felt it just sort of come back? Did it, I did. I feel it come back. Who felt it come back in? So, oh, it's possible. And then, because here's the thing, guys. As much as you reject that as a possibility is as much as you reject every possibility. Well, I just got knocked over with the brain, brain explosion. As much as you reject one possibility is as much as you reject all the possibilities. Because anytime you're rejecting it, you're, you're saying I'm not powerful. You're scared of it. I'm scared of it. Oh, I, I could never be broke because I'm so, I'm so crap at making money. Oh, I'm so powerless. If I was to get, see what I'm saying? If I was to be broke, I would never make it back. You see, you see what's happening? You see? So to the extent that you reject it is the extent that you reject your power. Powerful people don't have to reject or resist things. Fucking just choose what they want. They don't waste their energy avoiding little circumstances of the human experience. They're too busy creating. Oh, well, they're not wasting some of their brain power, their energy, their life, their focus, their life force, their prana, their energy, their mana. They're not wasting it there. Worried about this little thing, thinking they would never come back. They say, oh, that's possible. It's possible I could completely screw this up. And I'm going to choose this. It's possible. I accept that as a possibility that I could end in divorce, broke. I, I accept that, but I'm powerful. What you resist owns you. It shackles your power. You're scared of it. You're weak to it. It's bigger than you. You're a victim to it. I could never let that happen. What are you really saying? What's the truth behind it? You're saying I'm not powerful enough to create that thing's bigger than me. What you resist owns you. What you resist shackles your power, takes your power away. Acknowledge it. Accept it as a possibility. Accept it. When you accept it as a possibility and then you get to accept all the other possibilities. You see? When you accept it as a possibility, you then are able to accept all the other possibilities. Does this make sense? Not really. Is it true? If you are rejecting one possibility and scared of it, you're rejecting all possibilities. Okay, so accept it. Once you accept it, once you're here, you say, oh, it's, it's okay, I, I would be okay. Then, then you simply get to choose from a place of power, not from a place of better. You just say, I'll have this one, thank you. Like looking at a menu. Like looking at a menu. Oh, I'll have, I'll have that. You see? Oh, that please. Feel the feeling when you choose from a menu. You've got you've got all the money to spend. Have whatever you want. You look at this big menu. You go, oh, I'll just have that. Thanks. That's life. That's how it should be. I'll have that. Oh, that wasn't a good dish. I'll just get another one. You know, oh, I didn't like that at all. I'm I'll uh, wait, please, I'll just have something else. I don't want that at all. I'll have something.
So, so we, we, we come into life and we create a fixed version of what we have. We fix it. We say, this is it. And this is the self, uh, self-conscious um, situation and it's fixed. Okay, self-conscious is fixed. It says, this is, this is who you are. This is how it is. Now, we actually want another fixed reality. We actually, we actually enjoy being limited or fixed, you see. So when you're consciously creating, the ego is not the enemy. Self-conscious is not the enemy. Self-conscious allows you to experience anything. But there's so many different fixed points. There's this point and this point and this point and this point. This. So what we do, if we're in this fixed reality, in this current reality, and we would like to create this fixed desired reality, we first must go up into all possibility. Once we go up into all possibility, then we choose. So we're fixed in our limited perspective. We come up and out to the superconscious. And then we come back down and we say, this is what I want to create. Masculine, feminine, masculine. Masculine. We go up and out. We remove all resistance to it. Boom. We come back into the world and we move it into thoughts, into things. We move back in. A conscious creator doesn't just create it in the field. The conscious creator creates it in the fields, becomes it, then steps back into the limited perspective and has fun experiencing it, bringing it into the world, birthing it, you see. Having the masculine, bringing it through from the feminine womb, the unconscious, the superconscious, the womb of all creation and then bringing it out into the world. And, and, and that's the, that's the key. That's the key. See, so the, uh, today I wanted to talk about a lot actually, but the, the three big obstacles, okay. That I see the, the first big mistake is that people are in a, a, a powerless structure, uh, with what they want. They're in a powerless structure with what they don't want. They powerless. They say, this thing will complete me. And if that thing goes, I'm screwed. You see that? They say, if I was successful, if I had this, but if I lost that relationship, if I lost that body, if I lost that health, they're powerless to something outside of them. They've given their power away and under the pretense of positivity or in the pretense of, I don't want to lose, but they're powerless. Okay. The next thing is they're not going for what they love. They're not going for what they love. They're lying to themselves. They're lying to themselves. They are literally lying to themselves. They say, I want this. They don't. They don't want that. There's something they really want, but they're not willing to go for it. I was coaching someone. Uh, it was a guy. Uh, it was actually one of my team members. He might be on the, on the call. And uh, it, was his, it was his birthday. And, and so I said, oh, hey, for your birthday, how about I give you a coaching session? He said, oh, that'd be really cool. So we, we did his choices. And, uh, you know, one of his choices was to to write a, uh, a, a screenplay, like a, a movie, like a full, to, to, he, wanted, he wants to write a movie, um, but it wasn't on his choices. Instead on his choices was all these other things that, uh, you know, that, that he thought, you know, I, I, I want to make this sort of money and I want to, uh, you know, I've got to get a YouTube channel and I want to write a this and I want to hit all these other things instead of, you know, he, this is what he wants. So he's doing all this. This is what he wants. And, and, and so I put it there. It was, it was very much like, oh, you know, I can't put that. I'm not good enough. I'm not this. I've got to get this sorted. I've got to get that sorted. I need this. I need that. I need all these sort of things, you know. 
it's like it's all there. Uh, Jenny's put in a, a question. Um, please go through the uh, introductory session. There's a there's beautiful trainings on finding it. Yeah. And uh, and once we once we found that it was it's so big. Most people aren't going for their heart. You know, they're not going for their heart. They are they they're going for all these other things. And I, I want you to go for your heart. I want you to go for your heart. I want you to go for what's what's really here. But that's because that's where the real the real fear can come in. It's like, well, that and it's, it's very strange. And the things we love the most is the most scariest to us. But I, I, I would love for you to go for your heart. All successful creators, they went, they go for their heart. They're not, they're not off trying to create things they don't care about. They, they're going for their heart. And finding your heart and bringing it into the world, finding your love and bringing it into the world is, uh, is uh, I can't think of anything better to do. You know, truly liberated, living, living from what you, what you really love. You know, what you really love. And, and so the last, the last thing is, uh, so, you know, the first one is that they're in a powerless structure. The second is that they're not going for what they love. They're not in a true choice. And, and the last thing is they've forgotten who they are. They, they've forgotten, uh, they've forgotten who they are. You know, uh, Janine says, is your heart, uh, I don't think it's love. I think it's what, what you love, what you love. You're going for what you love and, you know, love meaning, you know, just, just what, what is the highest expression of you, what you love teaching, teach my heart teaching. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Born to teach, guys. Born to teach. What is your heart? Finding your finding your heart. And so the the three big mistakes is is one people are in a, a powerless structure. Number number two is they're not they're not going for their their heart. And number three is they've forgotten who they are. That's such, Jesse, I love you. I want to start by saying I love you, but that's a lie. It's, it's, it's a good, it's a, it's a useful lie. It feels true. I'd love to go for what I love, but I, but I don't, can't afford it. Yeah. And I, but I know you probably say, no, Chris, I've got many, you know, go for what you love. In going for what you love, you will find a way to afford it. But if you go for trying to afford it, you're over here. Go for what you love. Take the obvious action towards going for what you love. Does that make sense? I hope the coaching landed. I know it's like your first, your first call, I think. <laughs> but no, it's, it's just not true. Hey, it's not true. Go, go for what you love. And you will find a way to afford it. Go for trying to afford it. And you're saying that I'm not powerful enough to create what I love. So they've forgotten that they're super conscious. They've forgotten that you're super conscious. Hey, Chris here again. I hope you really enjoyed that session. Obviously, it was streamed live to our Magnet Mind Masterclass uh, coaching program. If you'd like to be involved in that program, please do reach out. Uh, we do have spaces you can uh, apply for and you can join. So do let us know if it's something for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe, like, and share this content so we can reach millions of people just like you and help them become conscious creators. Have a great day. Stay super conscious.